We are live, finally. I apologize for those who have been waiting. Um, uh, had some technical problems here. Uh, I did. Uh, uh, I will change uh, the uh, camera here. So, uh, just a second. So we will start heat the fire, and I will talk during we are <coughs> heating up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did a uh, uh, survey and asked how how you prefer to have it, uh, if it should be vertical or horizontal. And uh, many of you wanted, most of you wanted to have it uh, um, horizontal. So I, I tried to get it that now, but uh, for some reason it didn't work. Uh, so I will have to, uh, I will have to uh, look into that later on. But uh, yeah, so that's about it. Now, we are gonna forge a Triscala pendant. Um, I also used to do surveys uh, on, so you guys can choose what what pendant I should forge, but this week I I chose <laughs> because uh, this is a a bit special. We are doing a giveaway on our Discord community, and uh, thought I wanted to make something exclusive. So uh, this pendant will be part of the giveaway. Um, so, we are starting with an 8mm round bar and uh, I'm gonna forge a Triskele pendant. What I'm measuring here is 4cm. That is a measure I will need and also 6cm. So, as usual, I put some marks on my anvil so I can put this away. Um, so on the first heat I will uh, isolate the material, what I need. So I'm gonna do a uh, set down. I'll see on four centimeters right there. And I will do one on the other side. So, and here I'm basically, I'm gonna need three equal pieces. So we got the Triskele symbol that got three spirals. So uh, we're gonna need three spikes that are equal. So, uh, we're gonna divide this into three. So at the first, I'm forging uh, down to uh, right above half the thickness of the iron bar. So it measures uh, maybe five, five by five. And I can almost, um, make this uh, complete. I will forge it round and make it smooth so it's ready for the next step. Um, so I'm continuing. And this will also have, all these three will be have a taper, so if it gets uh, thinner at the end here, it, it's only positive. So, let's 
see if we get it as we want it on this key. We are uh, putting careful here because this is going to be a weak spot of the pendant. So we want to make sure everything is smooth. Might get a l I might have poured it a little bit too thin, but we will see. So now we got one, one out of three. Um, I'm gonna see. So one out of three. Now I'm gonna flatten. So that's why I forge this one half the thickness for now, because now I'm gonna flatten it this end. I'm gonna first make sure to get rid of all the sharp corners here. And uh, then I make it flat. And now I can forge it again to half its, its uh, thickness. So I got something in theory uh, a little bit more than eight millimeters wide and four millimeters thick all the way here. So this way I'm gonna, I'm gonna get three, three equal pieces. Because uh, you want these three spirals to be somewhat symmetrical. But uh, yeah, we're gonna need three. So uh, what I will do now is to split this, cut it open, and make it into. Uh, where is my? Where is my tool? I just cut it here, but not anymore. <laughs> There it is. Yeah, so what I will do before I cut it, it well, it's easier to if I do some punching. And so I can see where I shall stop. And I think right there will be good. Now I got my mark. I will also put one. Uh, in the end here, in the middle. I could even go with the chisel. And uh, oh, this is a bit too long, this iron bar, but it will do. So I'm marking the line in the middle. I'm gonna cut, cut it open. I will show you here. A little close up. Something like that. We'll take a look. You can see. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna heat it up and uh, cut it all the way through. And you might have noticed that I brought this plate as well. <clears throat> that is because this is softer material than the face of the anvil. So when I cut all the way through, I don't want to hit the anvil because that would uh, make marks on the anvil, anvil and also not good for my tool. So, uh, but the first... Uh, the first hits I can do on the anvil because I won't get through and the energy is it's better, it's more effective when I do it here. And uh, yeah, about halfway. Uh, 
I want to have the cut as clean, clean as possible because I'm gonna forge on these. I'm also gonna taper these two. So if I got many, oh, if I don't get it straight and clean, it will be a risk of getting cold shots, which can be filed, of course, but yeah, that looks good. So we can take a closer look where we at. So something like this. And now we got our weak spot in the middle here. We're gonna bend these and uh, forge. So uh, we want to make sure that everything here in this area is smooth. I have rounded my corners as you might see on my chisel so I get a round. I don't want any sharp edges here but I still will go with a round chisel and make it even just to make sure that it that I don't have any <coughs> any sharp edges. And this part I normally do in my vise it's uh, a li little bit easier but I will I'm thinking it, it should work also on the anvil so but uh, might be a, a bit more uh, difficult since everything is so thin here so we'll be wiggling back and forth but let's see if we get it open like this and I can go over to my horn and tapping it on the end so it opens up and uh, looks good. Now I can take the <coughs> chisel and I reach all the way to the inner inner corner there. So I'm gonna do like this and oh, I'm trying to hold it while I'm aiming a little bit down towards the anvil so the energy is not only going between my legs but uh, I think that will do I will uh, continue doesn't take much since uh, the edges of the chisel was already rounded so it creates a, a nice round corner but I just straighten things up here and looks good see a little uh, it will be alright it will be alright okay so now I'm gonna draw out these and make a taper uh, I want this to be six centimeters all the way this should be four now yes and uh, we got our mark there six centimeters so I'm gonna use that and draw out sometimes it might be a bit difficult to find how to get to reach all the way here but you just have to be creative and find find what works. You can uh, of course bend it and get it out of the way but um, there will be a lot of bends and uh, vibrations so I'm, I used to be a little bit careful so I just don't break it which happens of course every now and then even if you do or trying to do everything right. But we can keep keep an eye on it and also go on the core. So, 
Uh, this will be. I got it now square, but if I'm making it round, it will get, get the last uh, millimeters that is needed. So. Getting all the way. Bring it round. Let's see. I got it six centimeters. Taking the next next one. If you're forging this and doing like I do here, <laughs> please note this. It, I have, haven't yet hit my hand on it, but sometimes I see ha marks here on the hammer. And that is when I forge something like this and I misplace a hit. This gets on the shaft of the hammer so well. Uh, get used to keep it down. It's a bad habit that I have uh, keeping it up, but be careful. Now we got uh, 10 parts, so uh, Easy to burn. Oh, I'm forging. Forging on wrong. It's easy to burn up the material. Might be a little bit, oh, it's equal length. These two that you forge out of the one, the piece that you split, is um, it's a little bit easier to get uh, symmetrical. The third one, third one might be a little bit tricky. I have a spot there that I want to get rid of. Might need to use the file there, but I will do a final, final try. Right at the bend, it's difficult to get, but uh, that looks better. Yeah, I that will. I can get it like this. Yeah, I will take one more heat. That worked. It worked. Like so. Yeah, so we got these two, and now the third one. In theory, it should be just to cut it off and on four centimeter as the other two, but I will take it a little bit longer. 
because if I got less material in this one I will have to forge it thinner so then it's better to have a little bit more and cut it off later on so I take four right there then I can just cut it off again if if needed here on the horn. Oh. Checking the measure. I think it's good. I'm gonna make that round and smooth. I think we are there. a little bit longer but I don't think uh, it will be good so now I'm gonna do a little bit make it more symmetrical I'm gonna bend these slightly and uh, then I'm gonna make three turn these three into spirals and I used to say that spirals are uh, good practice for the for a blacksmith because um, <clears throat> it's a good practice for the eye um, to see to be able to see where I used to think like where do I need to hit in order to get this more symmetrical and forging a spiral is a good way to practice that and uh, if you make one like this you get three spirals and they all should be symmetrical so so uh, that is good let's see now I shall also have to decide which one shall be adjusted, but I think it's that one. This doesn't have to be the final because uh, after I force them into spirals, I will do the final final adjustments. It's also easier to see where where it needs to be adjusted, but it's, um, I can get a little bit closer now. It will be helpful. So now it will be a little bit there and then I yes, right right this like like this. I'll take a break here and show you. And so we got our tree here and uh, now we're gonna turn it into spirals. Might need a scrolling tongue, so I will keep that one. Got one here. Um, you can do these spirals on the horn or on the animal's edge, depending what you feel most comfortable with. Yes. Um, to me, I find that it's mo most difficult to get the beginning. If I get the beginning right, the rest will almost get done by itself.
can also take the scrolling tongue. And since these are thin parts, it bends quite easily. And also, I used to get this inner bend or the very end it used to be too big, so <clears throat> realized that too too late. So therefore, and I have no option but using the scrolling tongs. Uh, but you usually get a more symmetrical symmetrical bend with the hammer. Still focusing on the very end here and want to get that right. And I am getting closer. Small details that are important. Um, feel free to ask questions in the comments if you have anything you are wondering about the project. I will do my best to help. I also got a, uh, a uh, longer, a uh, non non live version of when I forged this uh, customized piece. I also make a ring ring around it and engrave some runes and so there is a bit extra steps that you can check out if you find this one interesting. Okay. So we got the first one, and we go in for the next. Holding the tongue and uh, I'm forging small pieces like this. The tongue is. Here. Hold, held in fire, so it gets, after a while it gets a little bit too hot. Now I shall also pay attention to get the scroll, the right, or the spiral, the right way, because all three shall move in the same direction. when you heat this up because yeah, you got thin parts <coughs> in the middle of the spiral but you still need more heat on the thicker parts so it's easy to to burn things up here and you got three thin parts to keep an eye on so so be careful One thing that I also find helpful is to use the cutoff hardy and forging these thin part it is okay to I can get into like the inner corners 
when using the cutoff hardy it's difficult to show you in this video but you can give it a shot when you're forging next time and trying different different angles <coughs> and edges on the anvil so now we are getting closer there's something uh, I think it's the middle that I should so here is it is what I meant with the practicing the eye to be able to see shall I bend the outer outer part or is it the center part that should be adjusted mm, but in this case it shall be a little bit of both maybe we'll see that looks good yep two out of three shall bend it try to get it right from the start <laughs> I've now been practicing on two so uh, might get this one right from the from the start Some more heat. Looks good. We'll see. Oh, and maybe now I shall use this. I can get it like so. It also depends how you're. I notice when I, I if I look on some forging videos. You don't always hit straight down, and especially when bending is um, just small adjustments with the hammer does a big difference. So uh, if it uh, doesn't end up as you are, as in your vision, that might might be helpful to pay attention to uh, the angle angle of the hammer mm, pretty good but I'm not happy with it I will do some adjustments now I can see more clearly if where it should be, shall be adjusted but I think it's it's just the one one of the uh, spirals that I shall take a little bit 
tighter. And I also see I didn't get in the beginning or before I started to make these into spirals. I mentioned that I saw a spot that I wasn't really happy with. And now I can see it still, I didn't get it completely. So I will have to use the file to make it a little bit smoother. I will uh, show you so you can see it too. Um, but that looks good. As always when making these, this is the step you could spend a lot of time off, but uh, some you have to draw the line <laughs> at some point. So, and my line goes here. I, I'm I'm happy with it. I think it ended up good. So now I will just flatten it, making it flat and straight. And as I mentioned in the beginning, this is part of the giveaway we are doing on our uh, Discord. And this is, um, we wanted to do something exclusive. So this is an exclusive piece that I normally don't do. But now you got your chance. So if you are interested in participating, you can head over to our Patreon. You will get access to our community as well and meet other friends over there. But now we shall take a look at this pendant and I will show you the Spot that I uh, let's see here we shall change yeah there we are um, yeah so it was on this one I can see I probably got the material a little bit thin thinner here but and so the bend isn't as smooth as on the other ones. So uh, what I will do is to do some filing right here so, so the curve gets more smooth over here. But uh, on the other ones, I, it looks good and uh, it's symmetrical. So uh, I'm happy with this and are excited to see who will receive it and yeah so i wish you best of luck and uh, thank you everyone who uh, watched the video and uh, thank you all for your support it re really means a lot see you i will probably do a vote for next week's live session so you can uh, stay tuned on my uh, community page and see so you can be part and decide what I shall forge next. So uh, take care. See you then. Bye bye.